is Kylie Tatagishi. I'm Carly Hood. I'm Melanie Erickson. And I'm Alexandria Mayfield. And this is an informative video about canine nutrition for all dog owners. Hi, I'm Melanie. And this is Rubius and Shasta. And we're going to tell you about the canine digestive system. Starting with the mouth, the teeth grind and tear food, and salivary enzymes begin to break down food. From the mouth, food enters the esophagus or passes into the stomach where the pH is about 1 compared to 4 in humans and that's why they can eat such nasty bacteria ridden things and be okay. Here's the liver that produces proteins and also metabolizes fats and carbohydrates. Then we have the pancreas and the gallbladder which produce enzymes that help aid in digestion. Then we go to the small intestine which is where most of the nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream then out through the large intestine, and out through the rectum. And there's the basic overview of the canine digestive system. My name is Alexandra Mayfield, and I'll be talking about nutrition for the growing puppy. So growing dogs exhibit omnivorous feeding behavior, and their diet should be compromised with proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water in the correct proportions. A puppy food that meets these requirements is called a complete or balanced diet. The amount of food a puppy requires changes during growth and depends on the puppy's age, breed, gender, activity, temperament, environment, and metabolism. Puppies grow the most rapidly during the first five months of their life, and on top of that, they also need a lot of calories to support their, their rapid growth. Also, growing dogs shouldn't receive vitamin and mineral supplements when fed complete, balanced commercial food. Adding vitamin or mineral supplements, particularly calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D, can lead to orthopedic diseases and excesses. Treats, snacks, and human foods should be minimized, and general dietary balance is maintained when less than 10% of the daily intake consists from treats, snacks, or human foods, and the remainder is a complete and balanced food. In conclusion, make sure your puppy has free choice, fresh and clean water available to them at all times. If this is provided, your puppy will be nutritionally stable and happy. As your dog enters its adult stage of life, you'll have to switch from puppy food to adult food, which is lower in fat and protein. Depending on the breed of the dog, maturity is reached at different ages, from 10 to 24 months. Most veterinarians recommend switching from puppy food from 12 to 18 months of age. Adult dogs should have around 20 to 28% protein and 8 to 14% fat. <laughs> Remember, dogs are carnivores, and they thrive on grain-free diets. If possible, try to feed your dog a grain-free kibble or raw food. Grains, especially corn, can cause allergies, low energy levels, and overall poor health. I'm Carly, and this is Senior Dog Nutrition. As your dog gets older, they are going to need a well-balanced diet that is low in calories, has adequate protein, fat, and fiber, and has lower fat levels than adult dogs. Diets should be high in fiber at around 3-5%. to 5%. Additionally, behavioral changes occur in older dogs. Older dogs may gain a disinterest in food. They may have a hard time chewing because of dental problems. So pet owners should switch to smaller dog feed and moisten the dog feed with water, broth, or canned food. To ensure your older dog is getting the correct vitamin and mineral needs, you can make your own dog food. Ask a veterinarian for homemade dog food recipes before making one yourself. Obesity in older dogs is very common because of decreased activity. Overweight dogs have more bone, joint, and arthritis problems. They are also subject to more skin and urinary tract problems and resulting in a shorter life. So feed your older dogs small, low-calorie portions of food throughout the day. Additionally, health problems occur in older dogs, such as kidney function. A decreased kidney function needs a low diet and phosphorus to help lower the workload for the kidneys. Senior dogs also need plenty of water. As dogs get older, their ability to maintain water balance is decreased. Moreover, additional facts for senior dog diets. Um, dogs begin to show age-related changes at about 7 to 12 years of age. Avoid senior diets that have reduced levels of protein. Protein requirement for dogs does not decrease with age. Hi, my name is Kylie, and I'll be talking about feed labels. Some things you want to look on your feed label and see are a whole protein source where the meats are named, not a one-word description. So you want to see like beef, 
turkey, lamb, or chicken. Avoid any product with a non-specific description like animal, meat, or poultry. You also want to see a grain-free diet because there is no biological requirement for grains for a dog. Many grain-free formulas use potatoes instead, and the potatoes are as a starch should not be added in excess just to simply offset the meat content. You also want to see that it is an AAFCO guarantee. The AAFCO has established a minimum standard for complete and diet's pet nutrition. You can be reasonably sure a pet food meeting those guidelines will provide all the elements of nutrition for your dog needs to sustain life. A formula without AAFCO certification will likely be deficient as a sole purpose of the nutrition to your pet. Things you don't want to see on your feed label, meat byproducts, especially those not specified in a certain kind, can be the unsavory ingredients ground into a mix during processing like beaks, feathers, feet, hooves, hair, and entrails, even tumors. The exception would be byproducts derived from human-grade organ meats like liver and kidney. Poor quality, incomplete proteins such as corn gluten meal, wheat gluten meal, rice protein concentrate, and soy protein are all cheap filler ingredients with no nutritional value and they could also cause allergies. You also don't want to see anything with BHT, BHA, or ethoexequine because these are all artificial preservatives. Instead, you want to look for preservatives with vitamin C, E, and which are called tocopherols, and you also don't want to see any artificial colors, flavors, sugar, sweeteners, or propylene glycol. And now you've learned more about feed labels. And adult canine nutrition and the digestive system. Puppy nutrition and senior dog diets. Thanks, Thanks for watching! Who the dog sounds? <laughs>